Okay, welcome to my practical malware analysis lab review. Here we're doing lab 1-2. We, since we already did some tool assessments, some of this lab is actually already finished for us. But first step is getting it to virus total, analyzing it, and making sure it's detected as malware. And we already know from a previous lab that yes it will. It actually will have a decent detection ratio because it has been around for a while. So right now we're looking at two thirds practically. About two thirds that show it's malware. These are the antiviruses. This is what the antivirus finds it as. It was created uh, January 19, 2011. This right here will let us know that there are some packed files in there. We can also look at PEID. And that will let us know that again, there are some packed files in there. In a previous lab, we used UPX to unpackage it. So we actually already have it unpacked. But if you're not sure how to unpack it, we did a UPX. We did a change directories. UPX hyphen D hyphen O. We want to call this lab 01, 02, unpacked 2, dot exe. We're going to be unpacking it from lab 01, 02, dot exe. We'll get a permission denied. That's because we didn't do this as an administrator. We want UPX hyphen D hyphen O lab zero one zero two unpacked two dot exe. We're doing that, we're loading it from that file there. And there are the unpacked file. Again, since we're doing it on the root of C drive, we have to make sure. We do that from an admin for imports. Let's go and look at dependency walker. I'll look at the unpack2 file. Imports, exports. We can go through and we can look at the different DLLs. Interesting things are things like create a service, create a module, create a thread. This win inet is a URL. We have this guy that gives us additional ones, but the big ones that I thought were create a service, start a service, and open up a URL. All right, one last thing. Let's look at the strings. Since we know there is data already there, lab 01, 02, unpack 2.exe. Got to spell it correctly. Here are the strings. None of this really matters. It will call the DLLs. It will do like system time, create a module, exit process, open mute, set waitable timer, create a thread, create service A, red flag there, create service, open SEM manager A, red flag. Uh, internet open URL, 
malservice and a URL. So realistically, if this malware was to be ran, we would get a new service called malservice, and it should be able to send traffic to that malware analysis book.com URL. So that's kind of how we can see what that malware is intended to do. That actually is Lab 1-2 in a nutshell. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.